Welcome to the A to Z of Dynamics 365 Marketing. We have reached the letter P and that is all about posts, social posts. So let's take a look. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and check out posts and that is all about the social media posts, the social media integration. If I'm in the settings area of the Dynamics 365 Marketing app, I can go to social media accounts and we can see anything that we've already set up. So if I want to add in a new account, I'm going to click on create configuration and I'm going to give it a name. So I have another uh, Twitter account that I have access to, and that is for a podcast that I do with my good friend, Lisa Crosby. So I'm going to go ahead and pick from the channels. Now, at the moment, we have Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn. At this point in time of creating the video, those are the ones available. However, I have seen that Instagram is coming. So in the release notes for Wave 1 for Dynamics 365 Marketing App, Instagram has been announced. So um, keep that in mind for future reference. I'm going to go ahead and pick Twitter. And what we're going to get is links to the privacy policy and the terms of service for Twitter itself. So obviously you'd go through and read those fully word for word, and then you'd go ahead and click create if you are happy with those. So it's now going to pop up and ask me to authorize and basically authenticate with this specific social media profile. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put in my username and password, and we're gonna go ahead and authorize that. And what it's going to do is it's then going to say, OK, you're authorizing for this specific organization for Twitter for the username and password, the profile that we've just entered. And we're going to go ahead and authorize. And it's a similar process for each of the different uh, channels that we can do that for. So once we've added it, we then see that it's been listed. Now, what's going to happen is for Twitter, you're going to have a created on date and that's going to be it for LinkedIn and also for Facebook. They have um, a time frame in which this will be valid for. So I believe it's, it's 60 days for LinkedIn. I'm not sure for um, Facebook, you're going to have to go back in and reauthorize every 60 days or just check it and reauthorize it every so often. Um, and this is the same with, uh, I but would imagine all things that basically connect to LinkedIn that's enforced by LinkedIn specifically. All right, so I'm going to go now into the marketing area and we'll go into the social posts section. And what we can see is a lovely calendar of all of the social posts that we have. So these are all things that have either gone out or have been scheduled. So if I want to schedule something new, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, I can select the day and then I can go ahead and click on new item or I can click on new from up the top here. And once I've done that, I'm basically saying, OK, what is it that I want to go ahead and share? Um, and this might be for the Up podcast. Maybe I'm going to share information about episode 42 promo. So I'm going to share something about a recent episode that we did so that I can go ahead and get that out to the um, social media profile. Then I'm going to pick the social channel. So in this, I'll go ahead and pick Twitter. And then because we have a couple set up, we have to pick, well, which of those accounts is it? So I'm going to say it's the Up podcast. And I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, check out the latest episode. So much great content to listen to. And then I can paste in a link. I can also use hashtags as well. Um, so I can say hashtag uh, podcast, hashtag dynamics, whatever it might be. And I can also uh, tag somebody. So I can say with Lisa M. Crosby and Megan V. Walker. Oh, wrong thing. There we go. Now, um, at the moment, you're not going to see that it's tagging and it's also not going to allow you to search for who to tag within here. Um, but once it gets posted onto Twitter, then it will uh, follow along and do that, that tagging that we can do in Twitter. So I can also upload media so I can go ahead and I can pick a file that I might have from within here. Um, so let's go with this little smiley GIF um, and we can put it in there so we can go ahead and we can share um, and then what we can do is we can say do we want to post now or do we want to go ahead and schedule and then we can pick a specific date and time that we want that to go out 
So really, really straightforward, really simple to set up. Now, a couple of things, if I had said, actually, this is going out to LinkedIn, and then I say, okay, well, that's the LinkedIn social media account. It's then going to ask, do you want to post as a user or do you want to post as a company? So a user is basically whoever has authenticated, in which case that is my account, we could see it's going to post as that specific user. If I change it to company, this is where you need to be a little bit cautious, is depending on who has authenticated this, um, if Jane Doe has authenticated and Jane is an administrator for a lot of LinkedIn company pages, then anybody that then goes and posts these social media posts or schedules them will see and know all of the different network pages or the, the company pages within LinkedIn that they are an administrator for. So it might be a good idea to actually set this up as a generic user, so create a generic LinkedIn um, account and if you're wanting to post to a page, you make that generic um, person a, an administrator of your network page or your company page. So just something to keep in mind because you might not want everybody else to know who you're an administrator for. So I can see there that I've got two different um, things that I am an admin for. So if I go ahead and pick that one, it's then going to show the logo and the name of the company profile. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we'll just discard that one. If I now go into ones that have already gone out, we can see there that we, if we hover our mouse, we can see um, what's actually been sent out in that post. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and we're able to see the preview again of what was sent out. And if there had been any comments that had been made on this post, we would be able to see them. So if I go through and actually let's click on this one and this one went out to Twitter, and for this one, we can see that there were three comments. So we can see the comments that were made via Twitter within here. So that's great. That's good that we can see that. However, if we then go to, oh, here's another one. So this went also out to Twitter. So we can see a couple of um, interactions there, the comments. Now, if we look at one that went out to a user um, profile, we can see that actually it says comments are not available for LinkedIn posts on a user page. Um, if we look here, it would be if there were for a um, company page and also for Facebook, if it's a company page, we'd be able to see um, interactions as well. So that's just one thing to know that we can't actually see um, those comments if they went out to your LinkedIn personal. So then we get an insights tab for each of these. Um, another thing, Twitter insights are not available. So not great. Um, LinkedIn insights are only available for LinkedIn posts on a company page. So be aware and understand what it is that you're actually able to see and what you're able to get to in terms of insights and also in terms of showing comments that have been um, put or, or have been um, added from a specific platform. So just be aware and know that it will not show comments for everything and it also won't show insights for everything. So that's how we can use our social posts. So P is for posts. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.